morning guys it is monday the 15th of july my birthday week anyway i'm starting off my day with some zero percent faye yogurt which is obviously zero like i just said and then i have got rather a tropical um breakfast so i've got mango and um, there's a couple of bits of orange uh, pineapple some passion fruit on there which again is all zero so my breakfast today is zero count my mother wants new house phones because hers are playing up a bit so we're going to go over to curry's however i do fancy the new creamy deluxe by ninja i do have a creamy however i may upgrade it to the deluxe one i shall see when i'm out treat myself for my birthday you know but we'll see anyway that is a breakfast Hi guys i'm now at my mum's waiting for it to come out we're going to the shops she wants a phone she's got three house phones right they're all connected three house phones but they're playing up and also, I think they're a bit confusing for her to answer. Not that we really want her answering the phone, because, you know, you get scammers. Because, about three years, three years ago, she was not too bad then. She was quite right. Although she's still not really bad while she's come in. She got scammed by Talk Talk. And it was only, my sister was over, and she literally opened the door and my mother was just about to give her card details. I think she'd given some, so my sister managed to ring the bank Do and I stop need to her. Take the stick? Yeah, bring it with you. Bring it with you. Put a thumbs up, she can't hear me. Um, yeah, so that was a problem. So it's a bit like, mm, don't really want to answer on the phone she gets scammed but i think she's um learned a lesson not quite sure what's going on with my parents today but i don't care i'm only going to look for phones maybe an ninja or two m50 this week you know deserve a treat she's getting a coat now i think it's not bothering. It's starting to rain. Oh, it's Texas last week in primary this week. And Thursday's going to be sad he's, as he's leaving his assembly. And when I went to Jackson's last year, because there's only a year between them, I was like, the tissue. I think it'd be worse this year because Dexter's like my, my baby. My little, he's my last child and he's the last one in primary he'll be the last one in school he did try and get out of going to school this week i'm still riding around in the car with a teacher's present um i did say i'd take my mum out for lunch because it's 12 o'clock i don't know where whether that lunch is going to be a sandwich in the car when we come out of a shop because i want to get some peas um, I've taken chicken Kiev's out of the freezer. I'm still using bits in the freezer. Although it's getting low. It's getting low. So I've got chicken Kiev's, I've got potatoes, and I've got peas, but not enough. So I've taken out four chicken Kiev's. That's me and the kids. Um, oh, I've miscounted, actually. So whether I end up with fish or... or um, a Kiev, I don't know. Because my mother doesn't like fish, so she'll want a Kiev. I've got four Kievs out and two pieces of fish. Hang on, my sister. Right, we're off now. That was my sister on the phone. I'm not going to let people stress me out this week. So we're going to Paris. Towels and that need washing, uh, but it, I think it's going to be horrible all the week. 
you want me to wash them and put them in my dryer? Yeah, but that's costing, isn't it? Yes, it is costing me money. But I'll do it if you want them done and it saves you having to stress out over a, a bag of towels. I'll just chuck a couple in if, with my wash. I put, I've left a wash on now. I've put some stuff in the washing machine, so when I go home now, I'll be able to sort it out. If you give them to me, I'll wash them with my stuff. Hmm? I've washed your pillowcases. I've just got to give them back to you. I keep forgetting to pick them up. They're on the top of my chair. So that I walk past them when I come out and won't forget them. And twice today, I forgot them. Well, and I'm not, I won't be putting, changing them for a bit. And your apron is waiting to go in the next yeah. wash. I just hang that. Don't, don't you want to use your new washing machine? Do you like ice cream? ice cream yeah good I'm gonna upgrade my ice cream machine I think and Deborah gave me a carton of ice cream that's supposed to taste just like Mr. Whippy's ice cream from the um, ice cream van because I got room in my freezer I'm going to um, fill up the pots and churn some ice cream. That's the only thing, you've got to put the mixture in the freezer so it freezes, obviously, and then you can churn it and you can make frappuccinos and all that, frappes. Fancy a frappe? Do you want a frappe? Go on, say it. What's a frappe? Do you know what a frappe well, it's is? it's not an ice cream, is it? No, it's a, a drink, coffee drink. Like a cold coffee. Um, oh, it's like those things of... No, that's a patty. Yeah. What are them Bye. things you used to make when we were kids with leftover beef? You would put an egg, would you put beef and you'd put it in a chopper thing and shred it all up and then you would do whatever you did with it and you would roll it in them orange bread crumbs and fry them in the frying pan. Was it like a beef rissole? Do you remember making them? Not really. Yeah you do, come on, get your mind cogging and your brain working. I'll remind you. We used to have a roast beef dinner and you used right, to always make that make Yorkshire frisole, pudding. Frisole's out That's there. it. See, you remember. I can remember them. They were quite tasty. Can you remember how you made them though? I know it was yeah, beef. I, did, I just minced up the, beef. the meat. Yeah, and, and what uh, else did you put in with it though? An egg? Bind it together. Yeah, but I I put some. Then I put some. Uh, Did you put stuffing in it? Start, yeah, to ah. give it a bit of flavour. So it was, it was shredded was, beef, a thing of stuffing like Paxo, it's, and then um, an egg to bind it, and then you used to roll it in those um, golden breadcrumbs. See? I could make them one day for you to reminisce of our childhood. Well, I wouldn't go and make something special. Well, no, I've got leftover beef. And you used to always make that Yorkshire pudding with the brief dripping and you used to have a big massive tray and you'd have a little trivet on it with the meat on it and all the juices would run through. And then I remember you opening the oven door and you'd pour in the batter 
and then we'd have this Yorkshire pudding but it was always a very flat Yorkshire pudding it didn't rise very much did it but it was tasty because it was cooked in beef yeah, dripping because it had all the juices mmm it was tasty the one thing you used to always cook and it'd be like oh god bloody Bernard Matthews turkey roll and you're <laughs> fussy with things you eat and we used to have that nearly every Sunday and then if you were feeling a bit flush I think we had beef but that Bernard Matthews turkey roll was like all fake bits of meat that'd been blasted off the bloody bone with a, with a bone with a jet wash and <laughs> packed together Tastes all right though. I don't think you can buy them anymore. Or well, you can sometimes get them in like random freezer shops. But those rissoles and your Sunday dinner and your sponge cake are the things that stay in my mind. You used to make that sponge cake that was so light and fluffy and bouncy. And you used to put jam and cream in it. Yeah. No, we'd have that on a Sunday. But you used to make the sponge like something else. It was like, wasn't like a proper sponge. It was like a piece of foam, but a nice piece of foam. It was tasty. Well, there was nothing much to it. I think it was because you used to beat it for so long, wasn't it? I remember you used to have an old Kenwood mixer. I wonder where that is now, in the tip somewhere. In landfill. Oh, what did you do with it? Do you remember? Did you give it to a charity shop or something? The chip. You had a Kenwood. You had a Kenwood mix stand mixer. Used to make things in. Probably very retro now, old fashioned. You weren't much of a cook though, were you? You didn't like cooking. You cooked because you had to. You weren't a fan of cooking. Were you? Mm. You were good okay. at you were good at sewing and that. Do you remember? You used to make me some skirts. I remember. I made you what shirt? Skirt. You made me a couple of skirts. I think I was a bit thick around the waist, and you had trouble getting me some clothes. Maybe some. Well, I wasn't I that fat as a kid. That. Um, you made me some skirts. I remember a rah rah skirt. I remember the old rah rah skirts <laughs> with three frills. I remember having one of them. And I had an off the shoulder dress that um, I went out and stole um, my sister's bike and got run over in my dress. I remember that. <laughs> And then dumped her bike back on the garden and pretended I'd not touched it as I limped back in the house <laughs> and I pissed myself. What a state. I don't remember how old I was. I must have been like 11, like Dexter's age. Nicked the bike. Couldn't be asked to look to see who was coming. I thought, oh, I can't hear anything. Turned the bike on Nutfield Road. Bang! This bloody gold golf went whack and smashed me off my bike <laughs> pissed myself the bike wheel moved from the frame so it was bent I couldn't ride it back and I was just like oh I'm really sorry don't tell my mum I remember going don't tell my mum she'll kill me don't tell my mum I'm alright I'm alright and he was like oh my god I've just run a kid over and I was like don't worry, I'm fine. I'm fine. I think my identity is bumper. But, oh, God. And with the days, eh? Right, we're off to the shops and we catch with a bit. In Selma and Cardiff, guys, someone's nicked the bloody wheels off the trolley. How sad is that? All right, there, Mum, ready to have a nice ride? <laughs> Round curries. Yeah. What's it say? You yeah, won't get it cheaper. Like uh, someone's lost their glasses. Where are they? I don't know if you can see them. You can just see them there on the edge of that white. Show my nail. 
see him. They've been run over. Run into curries and I'm absolutely busting for the loo and it's like, oh my God. Mum, if I wee myself, I'll have to go home, you know. Aren't we? What's that? We're soaked. We're soaked. Soaking wet. <laughs> it um it's you raining. Can, it? I'm just trying to put my uh bought a Go thing on. for my phone. Yeah. On. I can just get a, a sandwich in Tesco's, don't have to go in the cafe. Oh <laughs> We could have got a sandwich in there. Hang on, I've got to be annoying now and do that again. Sorry. Camera, where? I never said camera. I said we could have got a sandwich in there. I just booked the Toby Carvery because my mother fancied going out and then she, nah, so I've just cancelled it again. Okay, I've got rice and what's a rice that is still in. <laughs> well, that's then, exciting, a pot of rice. Yeah, my Got my mother's phones, so that's one thing sorted. The weather might be different and down the road a bit. My green. Yes. It's very white over there. Oh. Let's make you some ice cream, Mum. Well, I can drive to somewhere if you want to go somewhere. Well, I'll take you to your your usual exciting Tesco's for a panini or something. What do you want? It's up to you. I don't mind. Huh? <laughs> I said, what do you want? It's up to you. I don't mind. It's Tesco's cafe. We can go to a pub. I don't mind. You're the driver. I don't really know many places here. To be honest. Um, not sure. Putting your belt on. I feel hot and wet. The seat belt's on the side of the car, Mum. Not in your damn bag. What here? Yeah, where it always is. That's it. You are. I need the knob, remember. Down here Can't do much without the knob. Knobs are wonderful things. Can I have a bit more knobbage, please? Right, if you get your arm from out from under the belt, that would help as well. Right. There. I'll just plug your knob in. Oh, this weather makes it all horrible. I'm trying to think where else there is. I, th I think it probably was forecast horrible weather like this at the weekend I didn't I didn't hear I don't know that's a shame I've left the kitchen window open I doubt Mackenzie would have shut it oh that's what I was gonna get in home bargain some more packaging what about home bargains I was going to get some more packaging. We could go to that pub, you know, the one where they sell those massive, massive bits of cake. Not obviously to get the cake, but it's the place that sells their massive slices of cake. Do you remember? Not you really. had macaroni cheese, I think, last time. Cedar Tree Farm. Or Harvester. I got. A, I had an email to offer me a free meal at the Harvester. How can you have a free meal? Because I'm going to be 50. They're offering me all these things. Freebies. I had a free meal. I got a free meal in the Harvester. A free meal somewhere else. Don't they know I'm on a diet? I'm supposed to be on a diet. 
I think this week's just going to be um, all you can eat. All you can eat buffet this week for me. I'll tell you what, I want to go there, but I can't go with you. It'd be a waste of money. You eat like a sparrow. I get my money's worth me when they see me that me come in. I know you're not even listening. I, I said you. you can't come with me. You waste the money for you. There's um in Cardiff there's an all you can eat buffet where you fill your boots like when they see me come in they'll be like shit we'll have no profits today. It's called um what's it called? I'm not sure what it's called, but it's an all you can eat buffet. And it's all different food and you can fill your boots for a certain amount of money. Me and Michelle mentioned about going when we reached a certain weight loss. We should be going before me. <laughs> right, I'm driving, but I don't know where I'm driving to. Because my coat now has got wet. It's making my arms flare up now because they've got wet. And they're sitting there begging. No, they're waiting under the shelter for the rain to stop. They didn't look like beggars. <laughs> Burger King? Well, it mightn't stop. Might be on for the rest of the day. Oh, that light didn't last very long, did it? I'm trying to think where else there is to go. Um... Marks and Spencer's Cafe in Talbot Green. Talbot Green? Yeah, we're going through Talbot Green. They've got Marks and Spencer's there. They've got a cafe. Oh, yeah, that one. You've got to go upstairs, haven't you? Right. Yeah, they've got a lift, though. I'm trying to think where else. There's not many places. Well, we can go to the carvery if you want. No, 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 no. I said just as well have a sandwich and go home in the dry. Well, do you want to go to Tesco? I don't mind. Our usual yeah. haunt. I could go to the Talbot Green one where they got that Greg's and that. Healthy Greg's. Were you fussed on that when we went? Remember massive, we went to Greg's? Massive Greg's. No, not massive Greg's, Mum. I said you weren't impressed, were you? With what? What on earth is that white car doing there? Nearly caused an accident. Oh my god, it must have gone through a red light. to be taking it steady in weather like this. Yeah, I know. I'm sure I didn't skip a light and be getting a lights. ticket. You see Making me wonder now if I went through a red light. I couldn't have. Everyone followed me. They'll all be getting tickets. God, can hardly see with the road spray. Bring it out. Oh. I used the flash then. Most people that didn't have the lights on in bad weather like this. Oh, you're one of them, you. They used to flash. Dad used to flash people to get out of the way on the hard, on the fast lane. Back in the day. 
on your hearing aids up. I make chicken sandwich at McDonald's. Don't even have to get out the car. In the rain. Oh, I didn't know they did, did uh, things like that. Yeah, they don't just do burgers. Do you want a chicken sandwich and some fries? And a coffee? both gone from a crispy and my mother's just wondering how she's going to get it in her mouth so that's lunch and my crispy a, need to have a what big mouth that get that oh in. we've got one of them haven't we right that's right. lunch we're back just dropping my mother back right where's my keys get ready to help <laughs> Get ready to help you, cheeky bugger. I'm doing it all anyway. Have you got? You've got. Put your key on mine. I'm going to go out the door and get your stuff out. Are you taking my phone up to your house? No, love. I'm taking it to yours. Warren has to come down to my house to do it. Yeah. Right. He's in work at the moment, so it probably won't be Man, tonight. No. Leave it till the weekend. Or that. He's off Friday. Well, I'll do it when he's not. And I think, pardon me, I think he was looking to book Thursday off, if he's allowed, to what? go to Dexter's Leavers Assembly. What's that, um... Oh, God. What's what? <sighs> I forgot, I forgot already what I was going to say. Never. You? Yeah. Pardon me. Jesus Christ, we're both broken like that. Right. I know. Your bag is around your neck. Give me your coat. Give me your coat. Right, you've got uh That's around my neck. Your bag's round your neck. <laughs> Do you want a bloody noose around your neck? Next. Come on. Push the door open. I'll pass you a stick. You're not careful. I'll hit you over the head with it. All right. Go steady on my car. I nearly ripped the door off. Do you want a push? <laughs> off a cliff. Come on. <laughs> Here's your stick. Well, have you got the rest of it? Yes, I've got the rest of it. Have you got my bag or am I? Mum, it's I round your it's... neck. Your bag is round your neck. Right, guys, I'm going to get my mother in the house. And I'm going home. I'm not going to... Guys, I've just got in and I am, yes, sitting on the toilet. But don't worry, there's not anything happening. But the kids don't leave me alone because they love me that much. They even come in the toilet. Don't you, Jackson? But Jackson couldn't wait to show me. He had the door open when He's I had came. that. It's set. What's it for? Ten. He's eating sweets. Tell me why you got it. Oh, and there's Dex. For Tex. And we're all sitting in the toilet. Well, I am. No. I'm just came, sitting on it. I'm I, sitting on no. it. I'm not doing anything, all right? No, I came downstairs and then... Uh, and then he, you can't she, wait to see me. me and then said, get he in here. Right, what did you get? 15th, that's today. 
So you came second. Dixon's giving you a I clap. Deserve, I deserve a gift card. You deserve a gift card for coming second. Like they're meeting these sweets. They're my favourites. You deserve a gift card. Well, uh -huh. you, I told you when you finish school, you can have one. Well, it's no, you got to wait till Friday. End of school. Don't judge me. I'm sitting on the loo. Do you know what? I often come in here and I sit on here, right? And I just sit here for about half an hour on my phone, not doing anything, just sitting on the toilet. What? I'm oh, I knew you'd take that. What is it? Chav. What is it? That's ready. Peggy gave me that for you. So you can be ready for all the work we're going to be doing when you're off school, clearing up the tip. Oh, they had tarpaulin in pound stretcher. So? One ninety nine instead of five. I should have bought some. Because we all like being in the toilet when your mother's sitting on the throne. Have you got any certificates today? No, because I, I, I haven't had anything. Oh. Uh, He's not a failure. <laughs> right, I better go. I'm gonna put my pajamas on now and <laughs> sort them out. Well, where's the rest of the day gone? Honest to God, I've been um, busy with the kids. So, sticks as high biz. Um, it's quite late now. I made everybody tea. Didn't make myself any. Um, and I'm currently just sitting down and I've got a toasted tea cake and I haven't counted it and I've been taken over by aliens, I think. Um, I need to get my head back in the room. But this week, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to try and not be too bad. But my creamy is still in its box. I'm hoping it's okay because one corner of the box is quite bashed in. Um, I'll try and open that tomorrow because I'm not going out tomorrow. But I say I'm not going out tomorrow. I'm nipping somewhere. And I've also got to go to the post office. I sold eight things on eBay. I've got to go and post them. So, that's my day. Tomorrow's probably going to be a bit boring. But I'll bring you along. And, yeah. See you tomorrow, guys.